Dollar Tree sells all kinds of wreath forms, but one of their best deals are the larger wire wreath forms. They come in an 18 inch and 14 inch. For my DIY, I'm using the 18 inch form, but you can totally use the 14 inch form. In Dollar Tree's tool section, they carry white microfiber cloths. Pick one of those up, cut it down in about three or four pieces, hot glue that all over your wreath form. And then you'll want to make a bow, an extra large bow, between eight to 10 inches wide. Now I just make a basic bow where I fold it over three to four times and then use a tinsel tie to secure it in the middle. But if you are not the best bow maker, no worries, my friend, you can pick up a pre-made bow at Dollar Tree or Walmart and that'll work just the same. Usually the bow is one of the last things you add to a wreath. But in this situation, because we are using Dollar Tree snowballs to jazz it up, to embellish our wreath, add the bow first. That way you can space out your balls a little bit better than, you know, you just don't want to put balls all over the wreath and then have to cover it up with a bow. So I use six bags of snowballs. I use the 18 inch wreath form. If you use the 14 inch wreath form, you'd probably need to use less bags of snowballs. I love the way this looks, especially on my neighbor's black door. Now for this next idea, super easy, super simple. One of the easiest or simplest, maybe cheapest ones in this whole video. Any one of Dollar Tree's willow wreaths and just two Dollar Tree picks. Take a tinsel tie, secure your two picks together, and then use that to secure your picks to your wreath. Then Dollar Tree sells all kinds of decorative ornaments. I'm using the owl ornament, but they also have an ornament in the shape of a chapel. You can use the snowman head ornament. Whatever ornament you love, use that and hot glue that to the middle of your wreath. I love this. It only costs $5. Minimal hot glue. You can reuse the willow wreath itself and it just, it screams Christmas. This next idea is actually my favorite. I don't know, actually this idea and then the very last wreath is probably my favorite out of the entire video. Just pick up a pack of the three piece set of brass wreath rings or wreath forms. We're only using the medium and the largest size. Use a tinsel tie to secure your two wreath rings together. Then you wanna pick up two Christmas picks. Now, if you cannot find what's tickling your fancy, at Dollar Tree. No worries. Check out Walmart. They have a bunch of options for only 97 cents. And you only need two picks. So I used two picks from Walmart, used another tinsel tie to secure those to my wreath rings, then just grab some ribbon and knot it off of the top. That's how you're gonna hang the wreath. Then all you gotta do is add a bow, add a bell, and bada bing, bada boom, you have a gorgeous, modern, but also traditional wreath. I really, really love this one, y'all. I love because it's large, it's different, but it's not too different. It still screams Christmas to me. Bows, bells, Christmas picks, that's Christmas in my mind. If you're thinking, Megan, I've seen this before, I want something different. Well, this idea is for you, my friend. All you need are two of Dollar Tree's longer MDF signs. Glue them together on the front using any craft sticks, and now the front will be our back. Paint the back, which is now our front, like I just said, white, or you can even cover this with wrapping paper, whatever you wanna do, because what we're gonna make this into is it's gonna look like a big old gift. You wanna take some ribbon, hot glue that on the front, make it into a crisscross, just like a gift, add a bow, and then use some of Dollar Tree's Christmas tag ornaments and add some Christmas picks, and that is it. You have a beautiful, different than normal wreath. I actually might use this because I already put regular wreaths on all of my windows for Christmas and I think it's too repetitive to use another wreath on my front door. I don't know, I'm testing it out, we'll see. This next idea also slightly differs from your traditional wreath. Grab one of Dollar Tree's snowman wreath forms. I broke off the arms. Actually, one of the arms are already broken off when I bought it, but it's okay, we didn't need it. So one snowman wreath, and then just one pack of nautical rope. Hot glue the nautical rope all around the top of the wreath form. Now you could wrap the nautical rope around the wreath form, but to save on product and money, really, just hot glue it on the top. Use any fabric you have on hand or any fabric you can find at Dollar Tree to use for the top hat. I really love this faux leather, pleather, vegan leather, whatever you wanna call it, 
fabric that Dollar Tree sells. It works really great for the top hat. I also extended the hat by just cutting the fabric higher than the wreath form goes. Then you can embellish your snowman. Use the same ribbon for his scarf that you use on his top hat. And then for his top hat, you can get as crazy or as minimalistic as you would like. I really enjoy adding bows and Christmas picks, but you can just add pine cones. You can add one big bell. You can add whatever your heart desires. This makes a great wreath, but I really think this also makes a really nice leaner against your house or indoors, maybe against your fireplace even. Now for this idea, we do have a few options. So one, you can use one of Dollar Tree's wire wreath forms, two packs of garland for a total of $3.75 to make a basic grain wreath. Or you can go to Walmart and pick up a 20 inch wreath form for about 25 cents more. I'm using Walmart's wreath form. Either way works just fine. Grab a solar light. This is the flame glow solar light from Dollar Tree. Add that to the bottom by twisting the garland around in a little bit of hot glue, then just a pre-made bow. This wreath screams small town Christmas decorations in a Hallmark movie, the light up at night. I, I love the way this looks. And we're on the next one, my friend. Pick up two candy canes. You can find these at Dollar Tree or Walmart. I'm pretty sure they sell the exact same candy cane. I, I feel like the plastic comes out of the same form in the factory. So it doesn't matter where you get your candy canes, just get two matching candy canes, swag them back and forth and connect that with some zip ties. Add a large mesh ribbon to the middle and then to hide our zip ties, but also how we are going to hang our candy canes is take a tinsel tie, make a little bubble of a ribbon, add that to the middle. When you flip it over, you're going to twist the tinsel tie into a loop. And that's how you can hang this. Now this looks beautiful on a front door, but this is also a really great DIY that you can use to decorate your fence, or you can hang this on your house. It's just what, for $3, $3.75, you can make a great large DIY. Like I said, it looks great on your front door, your fence, you can hang it on your house. This next idea, all you need is one of Dollar Tree's regular willow wreath forms and then seven of any of their picks, any of Dollar Tree's picks, any of Walmart's matching picks, and then grab some zip ties. You do not need any hot glue for this DIY, which is my favorite type of DIYs because this DIYs, they can be repurposed and reused. So just zip tie all seven, going the same direction all the way around your wreath form, cut down your zip ties, and ta-da, you have a beautiful Christmas wreath. But you can use the same technique to make a summer wreath or a fall wreath, a spring wreath. Whatever wreath your heart desires, pick out the same seven picks that you love and zip time to a wreath form. Now, I had somebody ask me about a Hanukkah idea, so I wanted to share this idea again. Grab one of Dollar Tree's larger 18-inch wreath forms or their 14-inch wreath forms and some yarn and wrap that all the way around the wire form. Then take a few packs of blue, silver, and white some miniature ornaments also from Dollar Tree and hot glue these all over your wreath form. Now, technically, you could use any ribbon or duct tape even to wrap around the wreath form. We just used the yarn just to have something to hot glue our ornaments together. Then just three of Dollar Tree's boas. And you're not wrapping this over and under, over and under around the wreath form. You're wrapping the boas in between the ornaments because once again, just like the snowman, this will save us on product. And I think this is a great Hanukkah wreath. So I'm not gonna lie, I actually had a few other Hanukkah DIYs I tried out. They were more like Hanukkah fails. I am gonna keep trying, so stay tuned if you're wanting more Hanukkah DIYs. But in the meantime, we are on to one of my top two favorite wreaths. You just need two packs of Dollar Tree's 15 pack ornaments. You're gonna make a hole on one side. You can use a hot glue gun or a drill and then just clip off the top of the ornament with some pliers. So you just made an extra large bead. Cut down any one of their wire wreath forms. I like to use the 3D wreath forms for this because it's already big circles and you only gotta make one cut, but you can use a regular wreath form, cut that down just the same. String up your large ornament beads and then tape off your wreath at the bottom. 
We are once again using two picks, swagging them across from each other and securing that with a tinsel tie. Where this wreath is gonna differ, we are using hot glue to connect pine cones and berries. I even cut small pieces of these picks off and hot glued them to the front of the swag. I really love this wreath because one, I omitted the bow, which is hard for me to do for a Christmas wreath, but two, the swag looks great at the bottom. It looks great at the top. I really love the swag all cattywampus to the side. I think that's my favorite way of styling it. I don't know. What do you think? You'll have to let me know. I really love the sideways cattywampus swag. That's my favorite. Some of you may know that I used to be a teacher before I stayed at home, before I was on YouTube. Well, I had a fellow teacher and a fellow viewer of the channel reach out to me last month, David. He's a special education teacher in Glendale, New York. Him and his co-teacher teach in a lower income district, which means it's up to them to provide whatever they're lacking, books, technologies, pencils, dry erase markers, everything. Sometimes this can fall on the parents, but when it comes to a lower income district, unfortunately, the funds just aren't there. So I donated, but only three people have donated. And the cutoff date is November 30th, 2022. So out of all of my videos, I hope this is the one video that more than three of you are still here watching because I would love for you to donate too. That'd be better than a like, share, a comment, all the things that us YouTubers beg for. I would rather you donate to David's kids. And if you're interested in that, if it's put on your heart, if you have the extra funds, that link will be in the description. Thank you so, so much for watching my friend and I will catch you next time.